So we had a question about how to import Microsoft Excel data into a SharePoint list without having to manually key um, the data in item by item. So there's several ways to go about that. Um, one of which is to, well, if you have the situation where you have a, uh, you want to create a brand new SharePoint list using Microsoft Excel data. The way you're going to do that is you go to Site Actions at the top, and more options. Now this is only going to appear to you if you are an owner of this site. So click more options, scroll down your list of templates, and one option you have is import spreadsheet. So I'm going to click that and then press create. Now in this particular demo what I'm going to do is I'm going to import some um, some data that we have from events that we've uh, videotaped. So I'm going to say uh, event videos data and this is from 2011. So um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to browse for that Excel file and I'm already in the folder that I want. I'm going to scroll down and find my Excel document, click it, and then press open. After that press import. So the first thing that's going to appear is your Excel document and the next is this little wizard that pops up, import Windows to Windows to SharePoint Services list. So there's several ways to go about importing this data. The one that I do the most is to click on uh, range type and go to range of cells. So select the cells that I want. And then next I'm going to actually select my range. And the way I'm going to do that is just click this little button here and it's going to collapse that, that box. And then I'm going to just select the cells that I want to capture here. And in this case it really is everything in this list. So I'm just going to scroll all the way across, all the way down, and then I'll let go. And then when I'm done with that, I'm going to click this little icon to expand this, this box again. And next I'm going to press Import. And so SharePoint is going to use the data in its Excel spreadsheet to create a SharePoint list um, on the fly. And so this looks like any other list that you have. You have the same options you, as you would otherwise. Um, you know, I guess the, the one thing that I should say about this option is that you you have to be a little bit careful about what you list as the first piece on your Excel sheet because you see that that's all, it's coming in as your editable piece. So I click on this and uh, I can edit from here. If you had, let's say for instance, date as the first column, you really wouldn't want that to be what you click on to get to this. So just, just make sure you're thinking about what you have in your columns. Now when you have it in here besides this row, everything else can be changed. So you can go under your uh, list settings and, and change those around. But um, just something to be weary of is making sure that you're, you are aware of that first one so that you have the, a good thing to click on. So that's one way to do um, import data into a, a SharePoint list. Now let's say for instance that you already have a SharePoint list such as this one and you want to um, import data from there or put more data in there. So the easiest way to do that is to go to list at the top here and I'm going to go to data sheet view. Now unfortunately data sheet view is only currently available using Internet Explorer. So if you're in Firefox you're going you're to want to switch over to Internet Explorer. If you're on a Mac I'm sorry but you're not going to be able to use this feature. Um, but it is a really nice feature because really it turns it into an Excel like list. So if I want to go through here and make some changes or just add some information I can just type in into any of these cells and once I click away from that, it saves it automatically. So imagine that you have maybe another spreadsheet that you open up. You can copy uh, the cells from the spreadsheet and this, just like you would in Excel, you know, select the cells that you want to, paste the information in, and then paste that in there. So that's a really easy way to put a lot of data in um, all at once. Um, you can also create another column if you want. So there's a lot of different ways to do that um, and you can explore that kind of on your own, but just know that that view is available and it's very similar to Excel. Once you're finished inputting your data into this, uh, this uh, data sheet view, again, you don't have to worry about saving it because as soon as you click away from a cell, it saves, uh, saves the data in that cell. All you need to do is press standard view to get back to where you were.